The first battle is starting! It's the mutant snow golem versus Barako. Barako just summoned in some of his minions. The snow golem is on fire, so it's not looking too good for him right now. Oh, but he is getting off some hits. He's throwing his ice blocks at Barako, and he's also destroying all of his minions. Barako, for some reason, is like missing most of his sunbeams from the sky. Okay, it looks like it's a 1v1 again. I don't know who's going to win. Wait, Barako's summoning in more of his minions. Wait a second, these guys are starting to heal Barako. I don't think the Snow Golem is going to be able to win this one. By the way, if you guys haven't already, leave a like and comment down below which mod you think is going to win. The mutant creatures or Mosey's mobs. Oh, the Snow Golem takes the final hit. Barako wins. Barako versus the Mewen Skeleton. The Mewen Skeleton is already on fire. Okay, he's going directly for Barako, which is probably the best strategy since Barako can heal whenever he wants from his Barakoa. Oh my gosh, wait a second. The Mewen Skeleton is taking the bait, but he just jumped up into the air and he's shooting down his crossbow a million times onto Barako. Oh my gosh, wait, Barako's using his ultimate ability and he's also getting healed from his Barakoa. It looks like the Skeleton actually realizes this though and is starting to shoot them away. Oh! Oh my goodness! Wait a second, the Mewen Skeleton somehow survived Barako's special attack. I don't know how it's still standing right now. This is insane. I don't know if Barako is going to be able to withstand the power of the Mewen Skeleton. The ranged attacks are actually doing tons of damage to Barako. This is crazy. Oh, he's getting sucked in. And he just got exploded into a million different pieces. But at the same time, wait, Barako also died. It was a draw. Yo, these battles are way more intense than I thought they'd be. Wake up, Frostmaw. It's time to fight the Mutant Creeper. The Frostmaw is bigger and more strong than Barako, but the Mutant Creeper is able to explode everything around it. The Mutant Creeper already seems like it's kind of hurt and it just got frozen midair, but it's still able to explode. This is crazy. Frostmaw is on the move. Okay, Frostmaw is taking advantage of its ranged attack, so it's running away from the Mutant Creeper right now. The Mutant Creeper is tiny. This is a classic David versus Goliath situation here. Oh my gosh. The Frostmaw just got up on both of its legs. It's about to do like super attacks. Wait a second. It looks like the Creeper is starting to charge up. I think it just healed itself. Wait, that's crazy. And also the Mutant Creeper has tons of minions running around. It looks like they have no idea where they are. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea what's going on. The Creeper is trapped in this hole right now and isn't doing anything. I actually think that it might be dead. It's pulling in the frostball, and it just exploded. Yeah. Where'd that head come from? Will the mutant zombie be able to take down the frostball? This is amazing right now. The mutant zombie might actually be able to take the win, even though the frostball is big, and it has giant antlers, and the power of Santa. The mutant zombie is able to smash, and it also has a secret ability up its sleeve. There's a lot of smashing going on, and somehow the mutant zombie is able to hit the frostball all the way up into the air, and then smash it down. The strength on this man is unmatched. Okay, the frostball is using his freeze ability, but it does not matter. The mutant zombie immediately rejected him, threw him up into the air, and slapped him down like a pancake. Wait, the frost mall just beat down the mutant zombie. He's not getting back up. I think this might be it, ladies and gentlemen. Wait, never mind. The mutant zombie's back for more. Oh, he's turning around. He has no clue what's about to happen. Oh, he just got slammed. The frost mall has to be so confused. The mutant zombie was down. He was out for the count, but he did not last 10 counts. He's down again. Will he get back up? We're about to go to five seconds here. Is he always oh, getting back up? No way. This is unheard of. I think the mutant zombie might be able to get up one more time. Let's see. He's down. He's not moving. This doesn't look good. Wait, he's getting back up one final time, ladies and gentlemen. This is insane. Oh, he just hit him up again and slammed him down. The Frost Maw has to be extremely angry with the mutant zombie right now. Look at him. He slapped him around. I don't know how much more the mutant zombie can take. Oh, no. This looks like it might be it. One final smash. And the mutant zombie disappears. Please don't hurt me. The Frost Maw is currently on the best win streak of the day. But will it be able to take down one of the strongest mutants? The mutant Enderman. Uh, Alright, the Frost Maw woke up from its uh, little nap. Oh my gosh, wait, the Enderman just split apart into eight different clones of itself, and they're all attacking the Frost Maw. The Frost Maw was able to figure out which one was real. They're going down into this hole again. The Frost Maw loves it down here. The mutant Enderman completely disappeared. It's nowhere in sight. Wait a second, it just came back. Oh my gosh, wait a second. It's doing tons of damage. It just did an Enderman slap. I don't think the Frost Maw is used to having to deal with all of the teleportation. Look, the mutant Enderman just teleported the Frost Maw inside of a tree, so it's taking damage. I've never seen anything like this before. The mutant Enderman might just win because it's stuck inside of blocks right now. The Frost Maw isn't able to move. The Enderman was able to use its surroundings to its advantage. Here we go. The Frost Maw was able to break free. The Enderman's nowhere to be seen, though. Oh, he's back for more! 
Four! And down goes the Frost Ball. The Enderman used a Superman attack and destroyed it once and for all. The next challenge for the mutant Enderman is the Flying Naga Boss. It doesn't have a lot of health, but it makes up for that in agility and also the fact that it can fly and shoot poison. Will it be enough to defeat the mutant Enderman? Oh, it just shot a poison ball directly at the Enderman. Wait, let's see. Looks like the Enderman is about to do a supercharged up ability, but the Naga was nowhere in sight. It's coming in for an attack, but it looks like the mutant Enderman is invincible when it's in that stage. I also don't know if the mutant Enderman can take any attacks from projectiles, so it looks like the Naga is going to have to focus on using just melee attacks. I don't know if that's going to work well for it. It did not. The Naga just immediately went to the ground. Wait a second, it's getting back up though. No way. I thought for sure this fight was over. The Naga is doing an amazing job of keeping its distance from the mutant Enderman, who doesn't have any range attacks that I know of, except maybe he can throw blocks. Wait, the mutant Enderman's gone. The Naga is looking around. It's extremely confused. The Enderman ran away and isn't coming back, so we have to give this one to the Naga. Let's see how the Naga does against this ugly creature. It's a spider pig that can jump super high and will also trap the Naga inside its spider webs. Look at the Naga! It's stuck upside down right now! Wait, did the spider pig just win? All hail spider pig. <laughs> How will Spider Pig do against giant flesh-eating plant? Let's see. It looks like the plant is just yeah. chomping the Spider Pig. That was the fastest battle of the day. Uh, we'll put some more <laughs> captioning right here, boys. Mutant Spider Pig is about to attack the Foliath. Let's see who wins this one. Yeah. That was quick. Mutant Spider Zombie Pig versus the Ferris Raw Nod. These are the last two mobs in both of the mods. Oh my goodness. The Spider Pig is now dead. It's just the mutant zombie left with the Ferris Raw Nod. Oh my gosh. Wait a second. The Ferris Raw Nod just sliced down the kneecaps of the mutant zombie. That probably hurt. But the mutant zombie is able to hit the Ferris Raw Knot up in the air, which is pretty impressive because it, the entire thing is made out of iron. But it also just got its axe stuck in the mutant zombie's back. So if it keeps getting up at this rate, it is going to continue to go down even faster. The thing about the Ferris Raw Knot is that it can only take damage from a sword. And every mutant mob does not have a sword. So this is probably going to end very poorly for them. Wait, I just saw the Ferris Raw Knot take damage. The mutant zombie is able to do damage to it. This is incredible. I've never seen this before. Oh! Not just slice the mutant zombie down to its knees. It keeps getting back up though. You have to respect the hustle of the mutant zombie. He's using a ground pound attack that causes an earthquake to keep back the Ferris Rot Knot, but it was not enough. Ferris Rot Knot wins. Let's see if all the mutant creatures together can defeat the Ferris Rot Knot. Well, it doesn't look too good considering the mutant zombie and the mutant creeper decided they didn't want to fight the giant iron beast and started to attack each other. The mutant Enderman, on the other hand, is the only one actually trying to defeat the giant iron Ferris Rodnaw. We're gonna have to go ahead and give this one to Mosey's Mobs. 